garlic. What's good everybody? Welcome back to Good Vibes Brams. Hope you guys are having good vibes today. And if you are, don't forget to like the video, subscribe, and turn on your notifications. That would mean a lot to me. So today we're doing a a um Filipino dish which is called a shumai in the Philippines. It is a like a Filipino style dumpling. It's really good. Easy and really good. It's delicious. I haven't had this in a while, so I really miss it. If you guys have never had this before, Make sure you give it a go and have a try at it because it's really good. Start mixing the ingredients. First, we have a teaspoon of salt. Sprinkle it around. And one teaspoon of pepper. Sprinkle it around. Make sure you get it all around. And four cloves of garlic. Put it in. And one whole onion. Get it all out and two tablespoons of soy sauce two tablespoons of oyster sauce get a spoon get it out some spring onion and one minced carrot. Two scram two eggs. Mix it around. Mix it around. Give it a good mix so every single ingredient all around. I really miss this dish because I've never really, I haven't really had it much. I really miss it so, and I love making it as well. Now we put in the, the sesame oil. If This sesame oil smells really good and it's optional to put this in as well. I love having it in like fried rice. So drizzle it all around. Give it a good mix. It gives it a good smell. Mix. Oh yeah, and this is pork mince, by the way. It smells amazing. It's because of the sesame oil. It's, yeah, I'm getting really hungry, so can't wait for this. And tune in to see my, tune in to see my reaction to it. Make sure you guys give it a good mix so all the ingredients will mix around and the sesame oil again smells great. So guys, we're going to show you how we wrap the shomai. First, you make a ring with your hand, place the wrapping on top, you poke it down gently, not too deep though. And then you grab a tablespoon of your meat, the pork, grab a tablespoon and tap it down gently. Then you get, you close it up, you grab the bottom, and you tap the bottom so it can stand. And it should look like that. Add a little bit of oil, just sprinkle it on there. And brush it so, so it doesn't stick on the pan. time i'm really excited and we have some chili and garlic oil made by mom here and some soy sauce it's optional if you want it but i recommend it let's dip it really excited so let's go oh my god that is really good a little hot right now but i definitely recommend this if you've never had it, it's easy to make. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. Peace.